y'all it's Heather and we have got to talk about the new elf soft glam foundation because I cannot go on any social media without hearing people talk about this YouTube Instagram TikTok, people are testing this foundation trying this foundation and I have been testing it since it came out I wanted to give y'all a thorough review rather than just a first impression this does claim to be long wearing hydrating medium buildable coverage and it says it has a satin finish I bought three shades is that excessive maybe but I wanted to make sure I could really put this to the test and try it I'm just not getting the hype with this foundation like I said I've been using it for weeks with different primers things like that I've seen a lot of people loving this foundation saying it's good for the price it's only eight dollars and I don't judge products that way I don't judge them saying it's eight dollars is it good for eight dollars I want to say is this a good foundation period because listen we can do a lot with eight dollars like I can buy an impossible whopper at Burger King like I can have a good time with eight dollars I just want to know is this foundation good is it worth the hype or is it only good for the price we're gonna talk about it all I'm gonna do check-ins I've got a lot of errands to run today so you can see this in the sunlight as I'm out and about I have oily skin I'm 36 years old and I'm living down in Memphis where it is hot and humid so hot so humid like you feel sticky when you walk outside we're gonna talk about it and I'm gonna give you some other drugstore foundations that I really enjoy in case this one is not for you so let's jump into me makeup free since I've been testing and trying this foundation for the past couple of weeks I've been able to use a bunch Bunch of different primers with it but I haven't used my holy grail Danessa Myrick's yummy skin balm this is the translucent shade and it just helps with oil control a little bit I absolutely love this primer it's a go-to for me so I want to give this elf like the best chance to work for me it kind of like takes down some of the shine but my skin is like glowy from my skincare so it didn't like completely matte me out or anything like that I'm gonna swatch these three shades on my hand so you can kind of see the shade options we have here is the shade 30 medium warm so definitely too light for me I had a feeling when I bought this one that it would be too light but I thought I would buy it anyways because I really wanted to give this foundation a true test and I can't really do that if the shade is too far off this shade is 40 tan warm this one looks a little bit closer to me this one is definitely better than 30 for me I do have an olive undertone to my skin and I am warm leaning so sometimes I go for neutral foundations if they don't have an olive option and sometimes I go for warm it really just depends on the brand here's the shade 41 tan neutral so these are all still wet swatches they're not dried down they're not blended out nothing like that right now it looks like 41 is going to be a good shade match for me but i've been kind of mixing it with the 40 warm because this foundation seems to really oxidize and let me say i'm not talking about dry down when you first put the foundation on you blend it out you give it a minute it dries down usually that's the true color of a foundation but this one seems like throughout the day it changes color like at hour three it's not the same color as it is at hour five it just I, i've been having that issue so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna mix what did I say 41 neutral and 40 tan warm just for reference I wanted to swatch a foundation that I consider to be like a perfect match for me right now whenever I put it on it's just perfect and that is the shade right here from Chanel $8 foundation why are you talking about Chanel I just wanted to talk about the color match okay and this is B073 this is an olive undertone so I wanted to show you how you can really see the green in this shade right here and that's what i'm talking about when i say olive whereas these shades don't have that oliveness to them now i can mix and i can bring in like i have this um face atelier ultra foundation in olive i use this sometimes to mix and get my perfect shade but i'm not gonna do that today with the elf see this is like a, a mixer it's an olivey brown shade that i can use just to kind of give some foundations an olive tone if i need to and we will be setting our face with powder today for sure i have oily skin there's no way i'm not going to set my face with powder in the summer are you kidding me i'm going to press this in with the sponge it works fine with a brush too i don't know that like one way is better than the other but i will say i've tried this with my milk hydro grip primer i've tried it with the elf jelly pop primer I've used my Milk Pore Eclipse primer. I've tried so many different primers and so many different primer types with this foundation. If I use like the e.l.f. Halo Glow filter 
product, the one that's really glowy, you know? If I use something like that, the foundation looks better for like the first two hours. It kind of applies better. But if I use my mattifying products, the foundation wears better. So a little tricky to work with in that way because I just want my foundation to go on and stay looking great. Here's what our foundation is looking like. Freshly applied, no concealer, no powder, nothing like that. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can really see how everything is setting. I think it's looking nice. You can see the shade may not be absolutely perfect, but it's gonna be fine in the end. It's not a big deal. I just want you to see before I set and conceal. I'm gonna use just a little bit of concealer today. I'm gonna use my RRL concealer from Makeup Revolution in the shade C 9.5. This is for medium skin tones with olive undertones. I will list everything that I'm using on my face down below in the description box but I'm gonna set my under eye with my favorite setting powders and for the rest of the face I'm just gonna buff over it with a little bit of an olive undertone powder this is where we're gonna start our wear test I did go ahead and bronze up my face with a little bit of my Fenty bronzer and I think it's looking nice I am gonna finish my makeup but I need to go make my kids some breakfast throw in a load of laundry do a couple of things like that I'm gonna come back I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup I know how the day can get away from me and I I can go to do breakfast laundry and then get caught doing something else and then a few hours go by and I did not want that to happen. I wanted to show you how the foundation looks when it's freshly applied. I think it's looking nice. I don't think it's like perfect. I do think this foundation is a little more on the full coverage side than it describes. I know it claims to be medium buildable but I think it, it, it's it's pretty much full coverage. I definitely want to give you some more drugstore recommendations on foundations that I've been using for a long time. If this e.l.f. is not for you, we'll talk about those though kind of at the end of the day. So hopefully nobody is getting this close to you. Like, hello, we don't need to be spreading germs <laughs> and a little too close for comfort, you know? But I want you to get in really close because if you're like me, you do this to yourself in the mirror sometimes. You're looking like, huh, how are things wearing? Even though nobody is looking at us this up close, we look at ourselves. And I want you to really be able to see exactly how this sits on my skin. Overall, I think we're looking pretty nice. I will be back. All right, y'all, here's gonna be our first check-in. The makeup has only been on about 45 minutes. I know it's early to do a check-in, but I wanted to go ahead and show you my makeup so that we can, you know, kind of have this nice starting point. You can see the texture on my forehead. It's definitely not bad or anything, but I do feel like I have foundations that look a little nicer. This is a little yellow, which I'm not loving. Overall, I think it looks okay. Okay, the next time we check in, I'll be out and about in this hot, humid weather. Y'all, we're only at like the three hour mark. Do you see how it's like worn off? It's patchy, what? It, I'm telling y'all, I've been trying this. It's not working for me. Also, it got, it got more yellow, right? It's weird. I'm getting up close and this is not looking good. Like, do you see my face is yellow? Look, here we are at the five hour mark and you can see the oil is just sitting on top of my skin. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy, but this foundation feels so heavy. It's breaking apart on my jaw. I don't have an issue with that. Like that is not a normal thing for me. Around my forehead, I just feel the oil so much. Like every time I make an expression, I can feel that oil sitting on top of my skin. I can feel it around my nose. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I feel like I'm looking so oily. The oil is just sitting on my skin. I'm not used to being this oily with the foundations that I really enjoy. I think this is just too heavy. I can feel it on my skin. I feel like I just need to wash my face and I don't like that feeling y'all. I just don't like that feeling. It's not my favorite and I I'm ready to take this off. Now yes I did run some errands today but I really was not out of the house for more than two hours or so. I mostly have just been cleaning around the house, doing some work on the computer. I haven't done anything that a normal foundation wouldn't go through and 
honestly, it's been a relatively easy day for this foundation because normally I'm out and about so much more. So there's really, I mean, what, what can I say? Like this just isn't normal wear for me for a foundation, not for a good foundation. I would recommend this Revlon foundation over this one from e.l.f. This one is also a buildable coverage foundation to where it starts off like this one from e.l.f., like medium to full coverage, very easy to get it to full. The problem with this is I do have to mix shades again to get my correct undertone and everything, but that foundation from Revlon will wear all day on me. Like it will stay on for 14 hours and it will stay on looking nice. When my oils come through, they don't come through like this to where they're sitting on top of my skin and feeling heavy. I can just feel this on my skin and I hate that feeling. Now this one is at a $12 price point. So it is $4 more than the e.l.f but I don't want to wear this one. So to me, this is $8 wasted, you know? Makeup Revolution has this IRL filter foundation. This one actually does have olive undertones. So I use shade 9.5 when I'm at my lightest and 11.2 when I'm at my deepest. Both of those have olive undertones, which is so rare to find at the drugstore. And you can usually find that foundation, depending on what retailer you get it, around $10 to $12. So again, not $8 but a foundation that I actually want to wear. That one is again a medium to full coverage foundation, very easy to get it to full, and it is a matte finish foundation. This e.l.f. I would say is a soft matte, more close to the Revlon. I don't think it's a flat matte. The IRL from Make Makeup Revolution is more matte than both of these. NYX Born to Glow is hard to find these days. It really is. And I did not try this for the longest time because it was Born to Glow and it said it has a radiant finish. But my oily skin still does really well with this. And I would say this is closer to a satin type of finish. It's a little more on the glowy side than this one from e.l.f. But don't let the word glow scare you. It's more of like a skin-like healthy glow and it lasts so long long on my skin and they also have an olive undertone as well. I do have the medium olive shade for when I'm at my lightest and I can just mix it with a little bit of a different shade when I need it to go a bit deeper but that one too is around the $10 price point. So I wanted to throw out those drugstore recommendations because I, I know there are great foundations at the drugstore. There really are. And this Makeup Revolution concealer is holding up great. Like you can see right under my eyes is still looking fine. I did a whole wear test video, everything with my top favorite concealers. I have luxury, high-end, drugstore, all kinds of price points in that video. So definitely check that out if you're interested in concealers and drugstore concealers. But this, this foundation, like it's just not it for me. It's a jump scare cut to me really up close, right? <laughs> I'm trying to get the last little bit of sunlight. Sunlight, I swear, it's like a natural filter for your face. But I know so many of y'all love sunlight check-ins. And like it, it, always, it always looks great. But you can see like look how it's like clinging to skin around my mouth. And that texture on my forehead, I swear that wasn't there this morning, right? This foundation, is it just horrible? It's unwearable, I can't, I, no. Am I gonna wear it again? No, I have way better foundations than this. I definitely like the other drugstore recommendations that I gave y'all way better. I'm ready to wash it off. It's heavy. And hopefully the next foundation we test will be a win. But sadly, this one from e.l.f. for me is not it. But definitely stick around, check out some of my other videos. I would love to talk with you. If you've tried this foundation, please let me know what you think of it in the comments.